So I got the coolant pump that I caught fabric cobbled together out of Harbor Freight pump and bits and pieces and a bucket from Home Depot. Some parts from Lowe's. It's hooked up. Well, it's not actually hooked up. It's about to be hooked up. So I can take the cable down here, snap it in, bring the return line up underneath, stick it in there. All right. So I got water for the welder, for the water cool part. It's set up for TIG right now. And all the cables snake across here up to a bunch of bits of metal that I am going to weld together to make a chip pan for this guy. Because I'm not real happy with cardboard one down there catching hot steel. Anyway, plus it will give me a chance to test this guy out. So, obviously, I got some scrap here. I'm going to set check the bead a little bit, but 8th inch straps and then it's like 14 gauge steel. So I'm going to butt weld a seam across here and then box it off and then have a cheap chip pan. See how it works. Give me a flight test of that uh, Miller Dial Arc welder. So stick around, we'll see what happens. getting everything all hooked up and ready and testing it and, and then getting some metal cleaned so I can throw some test welds and now after all this hullabaloo I'm uh, ready to do some welding. Hang on. at it. I just tacked it with no filler. Here's the bottom. And now I'll go back to the other end and show you where I friggin' had it too cold when I started and I jacked it up and then I went and stuck the tungsten in there like dumbass. Anyway, it's tacked on. Very nice. Get back when I'm working on something else. Mostly I'm going to tack a bunch of bits together. We'll see what that looks like.
still just tacking without filler rod. There's a whole lot of it, so I'm not going to film it all. It's too much. Back when it's farther along. So this is funny. Bozo crept in. It appears that someone has welded the workpiece to the tabletop, which is funnier than all get out. That'd be me. One thing about this TIG that I don't, that's different than the MEG. All right, hang on. Guess the tacks were too good. Tack it right to the tabletop. Yahoo. Try again. Be a little hotter, a little faster. There it is. Well, got it done. It's a whole lot of ugly. It's actually kind of embarrassing.
I went ahead and uh, hit it with a flap disc because that's the ultimate goal and plus I'm really kind of ashamed of my performance considering I spent the last 30 years or so fabricating stuff and welding but uh, in all fairness everything I used was stick welders and gas torches and MIG welders so a TIG is a whole different animal it's using it I, I kind of came to the conclusion that it is very much like gas welding in some ways mostly in that in gas welding you heat up a puddle and manipulate it which is identical but here it's about not moving the torch which everything else is about moving the torch around so if you move the torch around bad things happen but after all this it's great because i've been able to go oh i think seven or eight was the most times that i stopped the weld and proceeded to do a different one without having to sharpen the tungsten but most of the time it was two or three times i'd touch it foul it hit it with a rod get it too far away so it's been a lot of fun so let me show you this this thing at least it's just a a, a chip pan and not really anything critical it's just going to go on a bandsaw and catch the friggin debris so here it is especially 16 by 18 I mean I got it pretty good where I could buff it off and make it look pretty you look some of these corners they're really nice but there's a whole lot of ugly like stuff like this this horrible little tack right here it's it's oxidized so bad that I this one's even worse you can see where it fuzzed out and oxidized but overall there's this horrible weld across the bottom this butt weld See if I can get an angle. Yep. Definitely uh, high school grade. But that's all right. Nowhere to go from here but up. Thanks for watching.